Hi, I'm Rajiv, and today I'm going to show you how I make coconut milk. My parents are from Sri Lanka, and I am ethnically Tamil. So I grew up eating Tamil food at home, and a staple of Tamil food is coconut flesh and coconut milk. The first thing that you need to know about creating coconut milk from a coconut is how to pick a coconut. The difficult thing about picking a coconut is that you don't really know if it's good or bad until you break it open. So I'm relying on a few things to kind of lead me in the right direction. The first thing is, is there water inside? The more water, the better. That's a good one. This one sounds better than this one. The next thing you want to look for is the eyes and how they appear. These are the eyes of the coconut. There are three eyes on every coconut and they should be dark and firm. They shouldn't be soft. The next step is breaking open the coconut. In Sri Lanka, most of the houses have an outdoor courtyard that's a kind of work area. So usually this is a job that is done outside and these are broken open with the back of a machete, like a big machete is used to whack the coconut and it breaks it in half. When I was growing up, we didn't have a machete at home, so my mom or dad would use the back of a meat cleaver. I don't have a meat cleaver here in New York, so what I use is... I use a hammer to break open the coconut and it works fine. To break the coconut open, you have to hit it, but you hit it on the spine of the coconut. There are three spines on the coconut and they're in between these three eyes. There's one here, there's another one here, they're sometimes hard to see, and there's one here. The spine is a slightly raised area of the coconut and you wanna hit it on that. If you hit the coconut right in the center on the spine, it'll usually split in half. So I'm gonna show you what I do. I put a bowl in the sink to collect the coconut water. In here, if the coconut's good, there's a lot of wonderful coconut water that can also be used in the cooking, or if you're not gonna use it in a dish that you're making, you can drink it. And it's a shame to just have it go down the sink. Bowl in the sink, hammer, and then you're gonna whack. And then this is always a, this is always a moment where I kind of wait with bated breath. Is it good or is it bad? That looks very good. And then I smell it and it smells really sweet and nice. Another thing that is sort of sentimental to me as part of this process is that coconuts are used in a lot of Hindu rituals. Every wedding that we've had, every sacred ceremony, uh, a coconut is broken during the ceremony. It's an offering to the divine and it's sort of auspicious to have the coconut good when it's broken open. I think that's a good sign for us today. We broke the coconut open and it's good. Now, take this water, strain it and drink it or put it in the fridge and the next step is to extract the flesh from the coconut shell, which is fascinating. I'm gonna show you how I do that. This is the traditional tool. This is a coconut scraper. You can get a coconut scraper at a Sri Lankan grocery store. Sometimes Indian grocery stores have them. Everywhere I have lived in the world, I've been able to find a coconut scraper. If you don't have a coconut scraper, you can pry the flesh out of the coconut with a butter knife or some kind of dull knife. Don't use something sharp because it's dangerous. And then you can peel the flesh because there'll be a sort of a brown skin on one side of it and you can grate it on a box grater. So that's one way of doing it. It takes a lot more time and effort. This is the fast, efficient, traditional way, scraping the flesh. I put a little tray down or a plate to collect the coconut flesh. And then this 
goes on here. And I'm really pressing the coconut onto the blade. So this is why it's ideal to break the coconut so that it's in two halves so that it fits onto the coconut scraper. And this was a job that I had as a kid. So this was one of my chores when I was growing up. My mom or dad would break the coconut open and then they'd say, okay, go and scrape this. And this was set up in the basement and then I'd go downstairs and I'd scrape the coconut. And you'll see, you wanna scrape it right up to the shell without getting too much of the shell into the beautiful white flesh. But you don't wanna waste coconut and leave some of that flesh in there. You wanna to try to get as much out. And my mom's sister would sometimes be visiting and she'd be sitting at the table talking to my mom. If she was there and she saw any white on the shell, she'd go, hey, there's still coconut there. What are you doing? <laughs> my mom wouldn't really mind, but she, she would be talking and she'd be watching and she'd see me come up with the coconut and she would notice if there was any coconut left on the shell. And then she'd, she'd reprimand me if there was anything left and say, go back downstairs, there's still, there's still coconut on there, don't waste. So I, I still think of her when I'm doing this. Hey. Periodically, I have to take the coconut off the scraper and clean these blades off because as they get filled up, the scraping becomes less effective. That's pretty good. There's not that much left in there, but this is what I would, this is what my aunt would notice. If I would come upstairs and she would see this. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> That's what she'd say. <laughs> and she'd, she'd insist that I go back down. Here's the beautiful coconut flesh from the shell. And now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna use this to make coconut milk. To extract the coconut milk from the coconut flesh, you take this flesh and you put it in some very hot water first. This faucet has really hot water, dangerously hot. If you don't have very hot water coming out of your faucet, I would boil some water and use it from the kettle. What I like to do is put the flesh in to the bowl first because I want that first extraction to be like thick coconut cream and I need to know how much water to add. If you add too much water then it'll be too watery for that first extraction. I don't want to see the water, I don't want the swimming in water so that's about enough. Now I have water in here with the coconut flesh. I take an immersion blender this is something that they wouldn't have done in Sri Lanka. They would just squeeze this with their hand, but this seems to get out more coconut milk from the flesh. When you look at this, you're probably thinking, wait, where's, how is he gonna get coconut milk out of this? There's no liquid in there, it's like a mush. That's what you want. impeccably clean hand, lift that flesh out and really squeeze like a sponge, like a lot, as hard as you can squeeze and you'll end up with much drier flesh in your palm, which we're going to put over here. Now this does not go in the garbage because we're going to use this again, you'll see. So just continue to take handfuls of the coconut flesh and squeeze very hard. Put it over there. And all of that liquid that was in the flesh is now coming out and you can see it's in the bowl. So that's why you don't wanna to add too much water initially because that water is going right into the coconut and it's helping to pull out all of that wonderful moisture that's in the coconut flesh almost at the end of what I could scoop out manually with my hand. The next thing I would do is get a jar. Now I'm gonna use a sieve and just carefully pour this into the sieve over the container to collect that coconut milk. And I squeeze this too. And 
really squeeze as much as you can out of there. Now, this is what in Tamil we call talipal. And tale, tale, I assumed it meant head because tale is the word for head. But I checked with my uncle and he said when it's for coconut milk, tale pal, pal is the word for milk. It doesn't mean head milk. It means first milk or primary. The primary extraction of the coconut flesh gives you really thick, rich cream almost. And this is what we would use as almost like heavy cream. This goes in at the end of a dish. After I turn the stove off, I would add two or three tablespoons of this to a chicken curry as a kind of finishing touch. And it just, ah, uh, it takes it to the next level, this coconut cream. I'm just gonna taste it. You can see it's really thick. Let's see. It's, it's insane. This is night and day between this and something that comes out of a can. So this is our first extraction. I'll put this aside. Now, there is still remaining flavor in this flesh. So what happens now is I take all of this flesh and I put it back into the bowl. I add more hot water. Same thing, not too much, and then I squeeze. You, you kind of treat this like a sponge. Put it, put the water in there, and then squeeze as you would be wringing out a sponge. And that method is what is going to extract the liquid from the coconut flesh. When I'm doing this stuff, I just think of how many hundreds of years of tradition is connected to something like this and how my ancestors, this is what they would have done for coconut milk. And so far away, in the noisiest, busiest city in the world, in this quiet kitchen, I'm now making coconut milk. This extraction is the second extraction. So in Tamil, we would call this rendam pal, which is rende is two. So this is the second extraction. So this is the second extraction, and really you could do it again about two more times, but you want to keep every extraction stored in a separate container so that they're used for different things. I mean, this is, we're talking real old-fashioned traditional Tamil cooking. If you're doing this at home, you can split it into two extractions, coconut cream and coconut milk. So extract it the second time. You can put this in water again and do it a third time in the same jar. And then this could be used as the primary liquid in making a, a curry. I would love to show you how to make many intricate Tamil dishes. And to do so, you need coconut milk. So here it is, how to make coconut milk at home using an actual coconut. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, if you didn't. But please subscribe for more videos just like this one.